Our students will find themselves advocating for their profession and their patients as students, recent graduates, and throughout their career. And it's through the support of individuals like Senator Funky and many of you here today that pharmacy students will soon be afforded additional educational opportunities that bring them closer to their practice. This bill is very straightforward. It is flu season. It, it allows pharmacy interns to continue to learn on their way to becoming fully qualified and licensed pharmacists. This was common sense legislation. If pharmacists are allowed to administer vaccinations, let's make sure that those coming out of school know how to do it on something other than an orange. As fourth year student pharmacists and interns, we are already certified to immunize patients. However, without this bill, the first time that we will give a vaccination is on the job when we are graduated, licensed pharmacists, and all alone. Allowing interns to immunize and receive this experience under a pharmacist is essential to giving us confidence that we need to properly and effectively care for our patients. In addition to helping us become better future pharmacists, we will also be helping the patients in the community that we serve. Through this experience, our students have a deeper understanding of the research, preparation, and knowledge required to effectively institute change. After advocating for this particular amendment for more than 10 years, I'm grateful that it has the support of members of the State Senate and the Assembly, and I look forward to seeing it signed into law and implemented across the state. In the past 10 years, we have been successful in adding zoster, meningococcal, tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis vaccines to our menu. However, it hasn't been until now that we can actually check off one of our initial wishes. With Senator Funke's legislation, pharmacy students, once they have gone through the certification process, will be allowed to provide approved vaccines under their preceptor's supervision. This happened because of all of you. Make no mistake about it. And the governor will be signing this bill. And it's a privilege to work with you. And I look forward to continuing that partnership in the future. Thanks very much.